Hey everyone, it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be going over my top picks for like the best fine fragrance mists for the winter time, at least for like what I like to smell like in the winter time, which is just super cozy, warm, inviting, very, very sweet gourmand kinds of scents. And it's a mixture of all sorts of brands. So it's not just Bath & Body Works. I've got a little Victoria's Secret, some pink, Bodycology, Beloved, just a wide array of all sorts of things that I own to share with you guys. So if that sounds like something you guys are interested in, let's go ahead and jump right on into the video. So first up is Bare Vanilla from Victoria's Secret. You guys know how much I love Bare Vanilla. It's such a good scent. It's just like the epitome of like a warm, inviting vanilla. It has notes of whipped vanilla and soft cashmere, and it's just, oh my gosh, it's so good. Bear Vanilla, you guys know I love this. I've bought a backup at this point because I was going super, super crazy for this back in November before winter even really hit. And now we finally got snow on the ground. It was super weird. We like get snow and then the next day it all melted away and then we'd get snow and then we'd get rain and it all wash away. So this is like the first point at all this winter we've actually had like snow on the ground, sticking around on the ground. So this is where it like really feels like winter time to me, which is really why I wanted to film this today. But this is just one of the best warm, cozy, fantastic vanillas, so obviously had to be in this video. So moving right along, I've got the brown sugar and toasted almond from Beloved. This is such a good scent. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad I have two bottles. I've got one of them in my project right now and I'm loving every single second of it. It's just a nice warm and inviting scent, but it's got a little bit of a spiciness from like the cinnamon and nutmeg. It, oh my gosh, it's so good. This is like my favorite kind of thing to pair with like a bare vanilla or just like a really sweet scent. It just adds that depth, that bit of spiciness, but it's also really, really good on its own. Like it holds its own perfectly fine. I remember over December, I was pairing it a lot with Christmas cookies and that, that was a phenomenal combo. My gosh, I wish I had another full size bottle of Christmas cookies because I would still be pairing it like that. Love that scent. But this one is fantastic too. I know it's not really available anymore, which is such a shame. This is one that should be available like year round kind of thing. It's so good. It's not just like a Christmas fall kind of scent. It's very much something you can play with all year round, but I'm loving it in the winter time. It just adds a little oomph to my like warm gourmand scents. And of course, I feel like I mention this in every single video, but it just is such a good scent and it works for all the seasons and I'm wearing it all year round regardless. That is strawberry pound cake. It's just such a good strawberry cakey scent. Love it. Absolute love. So of course, obviously have to mention it in this video. It's one of those that like, as long as they keep making this, I'm gonna continue purchasing it. I know they have new packaging for like their Valentine's release. Super cute, very tempted, but I've already got two full size bottles, so I know I don't need it. But regardless, phenomenal scent. If you've never smelled strawberry pound cake, definitely give it a sniff next time you're in like a Bath and Body Works. But there's a reason that they keep bringing it back. There's a reason that like I have multiple bottles of this. It's so good. Just good all year round scent, good winter scent, cozy, warm, cakey, gourmand. Just, I couldn't say enough good things about this. It's fantastic. So then up next is Frost Melt from Victoria's Secret. Such a good minty, chocolatey with some tonka. Oh my gosh. This is like my favorite thing that they've come out with like all winter. Their candy line was okay. The other scents in the collection didn't really catch my interest, but this one is just like, they just nailed this one. It's fantastic. Again, one of those perfect, like it's not quite a gourmand, but it's definitely very sweet, very warm and inviting. It's, it's like you smell like a cup of hot cocoa, like, and cocoa is one of like the most warm, cozy, inviting things you can think of for the winter time, at least that I can think of for the winter time. Just curling up on the couch with a big mug of hot cocoa with your fuzzy socks and a cozy blanket. Like that's just like the vibe and this gives that vibe. So it's really just like the epitome of a cozy scent. So of course it's a perfect winter scent for me. I just, oh my gosh, love this stuff. 
So then up next is Strawberry Snowflakes. This is another love of mine. This is the kind of thing, I will bring this up like in every video I do. It's a great spring scent, it's a great summer scent, it's a great fall scent, it's just a great scent. It's like a perfect strawberries and cream kind of scent. Oh my gosh, I don't, okay, there we go. <laughs> I was like, I'm not getting anything from this. I haven't sprayed this bottle yet, so. Oh my gosh, it's, it's so good. And like I said, it's very different from strawberry pound cake. Like this one is like a strawberries and cream, whipped cream, very creamy strawberry. I don't think I could emphasize that enough. It's very creamy strawberry. Whereas strawberry pound cake is very much like a deeper, richer gourmand strawberry. So even though they're both strawberries, very different, which is why I always include both of them in these kinds of videos. If you guys haven't seen this coming at this point, like just know I'm gonna be talking about this till the end of time. It's a phenomenal scent. This next one I love like so, so much. And again, it's one that I talk about in the fall and the winter. It just has cozy season vibes. And I feel like that really like overlays into the winter as well. That is wrapped in vanilla. Oh my gosh, this, <laughs> I'm using the lotion and the body wash right now and I have been obsessed to the point where like when I use the lotion, I don't use a mist with it because it's just, it smells so good. Oh my gosh, it's a very gourmand, cakey, warm, inviting, fantastic vanilla. One of those, like I said, they need to bring it back ASAP. This is the kind of thing that they would make so much money on because everyone, not everyone, but a good chunk of everyone really loves this scent. So just financially speaking, like Bath & Body Works, you can make a killing on this scent alone if you brought it back, which I'm sure they'll do in like 10 years because <laughs> that's how they operate. Regardless, I love this scent so, so much. It's just the perfect cakey, gourmand, really good vanilla, perfect for the winter time. Now, another really, really good gourmand is Lazy Weekends from Find Your Happy Place. You guys know how obsessed I am with the scent. It's to the point where I have to like make myself not use it in order to savor the one bottle that I have. It's just such a good marshmallowy, almondy, sugary gourmand. Just, ugh, it's <laughs> so, so good. Oh my goodness, I love this one so, so much. Unfortunately, it's not the kind of thing you can like find in stores anymore, which is a major, major bummer. But if you have it like kicking around in your collection, definitely, definitely give it a go. Play around with it this winter. It's phenomenal. I literally could not talk highly enough about this. You guys know my deep, deep love for this scent. Something I definitely, oh, oh my gosh. If I could wear this every single day, I would. Whenever I wear it, it's just, it's a good scent day. But regardless, you guys know how much I am obsessed with this scent. It's the perfect fall, winter, cozy season, lazy weekends kind of a vibe. Just, oh my gosh, perfect for this time of year. Now, a new favorite of mine, one that I found within the past couple of months and I have been obsessed with is Vanilla and Tuberose by TPH. Oh my gosh, this is my backup bottle because I've got my other bottle in my project and not gonna lie, there's like that much left. I'm obsessed with this scent. Oh my goodness. Like definitely in like the initial spray, you get more of like the tuberose vibe, I would imagine, because I'm not super positive what tuberose is or what it smells like. Is it like a, is it a flower? I, <laughs> I feel like I need to educate myself a little bit before I start these videos. But regardless, I think that's what you get more in like the opening. And then once it dries down, it's warm. It's almost a cookie-like vanilla without being like gourmand. Oh my gosh. Absolutely love this one. It's one I fly through. Like, I mean, my other bottle's almost gone. Obviously I fly through scent like crazy. I love this scent so, so much. And it's one I'm gonna continue repurchasing backups because it's something I feel like I'm just gonna continue going crazy for. I love it. Just that warmth of the vanilla once it dries down really makes it such a good winter scent. Really good like fall winter scent, really. But this is a winter video. It's winter time. I'm wearing it in the winter time, so it's a winter scent. But oh my gosh, it's, it's so, so good. Again, highly, highly recommend. Give it a go next time you're at Walmart. Find a way to like, find a way to smell it without, you know, obviously ripping open a package or something like that. Don't do that, but find a way to smell it if you can. So good, highly, highly recommend. 
it's something I need to pick up like the body butter or the scrub or something else. It's a little pricier for a Walmart brand. I think the scrub is like 12 bucks. So it's something I would really have to commit to in order to purchase. The mist itself is about nine, but oh my gosh, worth every penny. Love this scent so, so much. Phenomenal for the winter time. I apologize if you hear any like beeping or engine noises or whatever. There's a guy with a really big like tractor outside doing snow removal, which is fantastic. <laughs> it's really hard to get out of the driveway sometimes. So super grateful, super appreciative, but it means it's a little bit loud for filming. So I apologize trying to cut out the snippets where he's especially loud, but just bear with me. But this next scent is warm vanilla from Pink. Oh my goodness. This is such like a warm, it's got a little bit of a spiciness from the cinnamon, but it's just like got depth from like the marshmallow cream. It's to the point where it's almost too sweet. Like it's on just barely, like just barely below being too sweet, but it's so good. I love this so much. It's got that pumpkin cream in there, which gives it just a teensy bit more of a fall vibe but I find that it's not so overly pumpkin-y that it works for the winter as well. But oh my gosh, I, I love this scent so much. This is one of those like I debated grabbing a backup, but because it's so not strong, but so sweet, I feel like this bottle is going to take me long enough to work through. And by then, I'm who knows, I might be tired of the scent. You never know. The start of a bottle versus the end of a bottle, I feel like are two very different vibes. <laughs> the start of the bottle, you might love it. By the end of the bottle, you might be like, I never want to smell this again. So I'm trying to be better about buying backups when I've just started something versus when I'm almost out, if that makes sense. And this is one I feel like maybe by the end of it, I'm going to be like, okay, breathe. But regardless, this is such a good scent, really good for the winter time, really good for cozy season, cold season in general. Highly, highly recommend if you've got it kicking around in your collection or you might be able to still find it on their website. I'm not 100% positive, but highly, highly recommend if this sounds like your vibe, such a good scent. Then up next is Iced Sugar Plum from Bath & Body Works. This is one that they brought out in 2022, I believe. Oh my gosh, it's just the perfect, like, I describe it this way every time. It smells like I just opened a bag of Lucky Charms. Like it's got that nice marshmallowiness, but then you also get like the, the generic cereal vibe too. I don't know. I love it. Such a good scent. This is another one I wish they would bring back. It doesn't have like the longest lasting power, but it is really good regardless. Just phenomenal scent. Again, wish they would bring it back. They don't do like really good marshmallowy scents like this very often. And I wish they would give us just like 10 more marshmallowy scents. That would be fantastic. That's like what I want is more marshmallow scents. Those are some of my favorites, which is why I love the Lazy Weekend so much in this one as well. I just feel like they work really well for just cozy weather, cozy season, just all the warm, cozy, comfy, snuggle up on a couch kind of vibes. Up next, I've got Whipped Vanilla from Bodycology. This is just such a good like spicy vanilla scent. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I feel like this one, I haven't given it as much attention lately, but it's so good. It's such a good vanilla. Definitely one of my favorites from them, like in general, but just the best that they've come out with for like a winter scent. I will say winter vanilla is definitely growing on me, but I still prefer this one. Really good, like I said, it's got a little bit of a spiciness, some vanilla. I tried to bring some variety to my scents and not have them all be vanillas, but there are some vanillas that just stand out for the winter time. This is one of them. Absolutely love it. I feel like I'm saying the same three things about all these scents, but like it's just phenomenal. Really good for the winter time. Super good, spicy, spicy wintery kind of vanilla. That's just, that's just what it is. Speaking of vanillas, warm vanilla sugar. You guys, oh my gosh, I love this one so much. I've had like a love-hate relationship with it over the years because I thought it had like a weird sour milk scent to it for a while. I don't know if they like changed formulas up and then whatever, long story, but I love this. It's such a nice, almost perfumey kind of vanilla. So it gives a different vibe from like the whipped vanilla and the TPH and the wrapped in vanilla and all the other vanillas I've talked about so far but it's just, it's so good. I love this one. This is one, I have a couple bottles like at all times. I've got a lotion, I've got a shower gel. Oh my gosh. And of course it's got the nostalgic memories for me because this is like the first Bath & Body Works scent I ever 
owned. That was years ago, back when the lotions had the curvy bottles. I've told this story a million times, but all of that aside, phenomenal year round scent, but also just a really good perfumey vanilla for the winter time. Vanilla Bean Noel. I'll try and be quick because vanilla is a vanilla. They can add stuff to it, they can take away, but at the core, it's a vanilla. And I feel like I'm a vanilla girl. All of these smell fantastic to me, so I just wanna share them with you guys. But Vanilla Bean Noel, specifically this past year's Vanilla Bean Noel, is phenomenal. It's just got like a caramel vanilla sweetness to it. It very much reminds me of the EOS, is it Vanilla Cashmere? Whatever the purple bottle lotion is, which I used to hate, but I think since I went through an entire bottle of this, I associate that with the lotion now, and now I love it. But whatever that bottle is, this smells like that. It's so good. Like I said, just like a nice vanilla caramel, fantastic scent. Super, super nice, perfect for the winter time. So the last Bath & Body Works I have to share with you guys is Happy Birthday, which is also Christmas cookies. I love this scent. Oh my gosh, it's the perfect like cakey vanilla with some spiciness. Oh my gosh, it's one of my favorites. I've gone through so many of these little minis. I've gone through full-size Christmas cookies, but you guys know how much I love this scent. I feel like, again, I could talk myself in circles. This is one I'm gonna continue purchasing these little minis until they bring back Christmas cookies, which hopefully they'll do this upcoming Christmas season. I know it's January and no one wants to think about upcoming Christmas season, but I want Christmas cookies back, so I'm going to think about it but it's just the perfect kind of winter scent for me. Again, super cozy, super warm, snuggle up in a blanket, sit on a couch, watch a movie, drink a cup of cocoa, fuzzy socks, all that vibe. This gives me that vibe. I love it. Not to mention, I get a ton of compliments when I wear it. So a lot of people seem to love this scent, but it's just, oh my gosh, it's just, it's so good. A perfect winter scent. And then up next is Sweet on the Outside from Finery. And if you guys don't know, this is like their take on Eilish by Billie Eilish. I think whichever one the first one is, the super sweet one. This is like their version of that. So it's got like a nice Madagascar vanilla in it, but it also has some Tonka, I believe, which really adds to just like the warmth and the sweetness to it. Almost giving it like a chocolate kind of vibe in a similar vein to like the, the Frost Melt. Whereas, I mean, I think it's just the Tonka that gives them that similarity, but so, so good. Absolutely love this. It's the perfect, it's different enough from like the others that it's not, oh, a vanilla scent. Oh my gosh, it's another vanilla, vanilla. It's got a different vibe. It's got the Tonka. It's, I don't know. I don't know how to describe this, but it's really, really good. Perfect winter scent. Just the kind of thing that like this time of year I wanna smell like. It's a little bit more elevated than some of the other ones. So it's got more like, I'd wanna wear this on like a date night kind of a vibe rather than like, I'm gonna wear this and snuggle up in a blanket kind of a vibe. But regardless, super, super perfect for the winter time. Really perfect for all year round, just overall really good scent. And last but not least, this is a newer purchase, but it's also like an obsession right now and that is Vanilla from Happy Nation. And this is just a vanilla in the best way possible. Oh my gosh, it gives me, um, I think it's pronounced Vani from Soli Notes, their vanilla perfume. It gives me that like exact vibe, but in fragrance mist form. I don't know if you guys can tell because the bottle is very squat, but this is like an eight ounce bottle. So I've used a decent chunk of it so far. But oh my gosh, it's so good. If you want just like a straight vanilla scent, this is the thing to go for. This is a straight vanilla scent. You can add it to a bunch of things to really play up. Like if they have a vanilla note, really emphasize that. Or you can just wear it on its own, which is how I've been wearing it. Just literally dousing myself in it. And it lasts pretty long for a fragrance mist. It's not like the most long lasting, but definitely something I could see myself wearing and it would last most of my work day which is typically eight hours but really good scent had to pull it in this video i know like i said i literally just got this i think last week but i'm already obsessed so it's it's something i'm going to be cranking out like crazy this winter all right so that is it for my favorite winter scents I wanna hear from you guys as to what your favorite winter scents are right now. These could be fragrance mists, perfumes, lotions, body wash, really just anything. I'd love to hear from you guys. I know I'm a super vanilla gourmand lover, 
Some of you guys might be as well. Some of you guys might be into super fruity scents, super fresh. I just, I really wanna hear what you guys are loving right now. If you have any recommendations for things that I should try, things that I might have tucked in my collection, but haven't thought to wear in the winter time, just stuff like that, I would love to hear from you guys. So be sure to leave me a comment down below. I'm super excited to see what you guys come up with. All right, you guys, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave me a like and a comment below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.